Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install and configure Nessus Vulnerability Scanner in Ubuntu 16.04. Nessus is an open source remote security scanning tool which is used to scan the computer and alert the system if it discovers any vulnerability in that system. And it also scans for the malicious hackers who can gain access to any computer you are connected to the network it runs over 1200 checks on your computer now we can see the installation of Nessus vulnerability scanner before installing first you need to sign up for the home license of the tenables Nessus now open the browser now search tenable Nessus now you can see the uh, just click the main link first you need to sign up now select the Linux operating system and select your architecture. Now you can see the subscription agreement has come. Now agree the sub subscription agreement. Now click save file. While downloading we can sign up with the Tenable Network Security. Now here you can see the get an activation code. Now click this. Now we can see the Nessus Home is free and if you want to buy Nessus Professional you can buy this is Nessus Home is free it can scan up to 16 IPs now click register now and enter your first name and last name now enter the email now select your country and if you want to receive the updates from Tenable you can tick this and agree the license agreement now click register now you can see the registration is completed now the activation code will be sent to the email address. Now we can see the activation code in the email. Now we can see the message from the Nessus registration. Now click the email. And now we can see the activation code for the Nessus form. Here's the activation code. This will be used during the installation of the Nessus. Now open the terminal. Now go to the downloads directory and list the files. Now here you can see the Nessus package is downloaded. Now to install the package, type the command D package i and the package name. Now click enter. Now you can see the installation is completed. Next you need to start the Nessus service. The command is systemctl start Nessus D dot service. Now give enter. Now service is started. Now we can check the status of the service. System CTL status Nessus.d sort service. Now you can see the service is running and it is active. before using the NSS web setup, you need to allow the default HTTPS web port for Nessus, which is double eight three four. The command is UFW hello double eight three four slash tcp now give enter now the rules are updated and the port is allowed now open the browser and enter the ip address or the host name https colon double slash linux self i am entering the host name colon double eight three four now give enter now click advanced standard exception and confirm the security exception now we can see the Nessus 6 setup page now click continue now we need to set up the account this is the admin user account you need to configure I am giving the username as admin and now the password now click continue now we can see the registration page now we have the Nessus home package installed now we need to enter the activation code for the Nessus home package now open the mail and copy the activation code for Nessus Home and paste the activation code and click continue. Now you can see it is downloading some packages and the installation is started. This will take some time. Now the downloading is completed. Now next it is initializing the Nessus vulnerability scanner. This will take some time. Now the initialization is completed. Now you can see the Nessus Home login screen. Now enter the username and password, the username is admin and enter the password that you are given during the setup. 
now click sign in now we can see the user admin is logged in now we can see how to scan a system using the nessus vulnerability scanner first we need to create a new scan for scanning the system now click the new scan and you need to select the type of scan that you are going to do if you are going to scan for the malware you can use the malware scan if you want to do the basic network scan you can use this basic network scan and the other options are available here you can see the upgrade option these are the paid tools that are available in nessus vulnerability scanner you need to upgrade to the paid version to use this options now i'm going to show you how to do the basic network scan now click the basic network scan now we need to give the name for the basic network scan i am going to scan a windows machine so i am giving windows as a name and if you want to give any description you can give the description here and select the folder for the scan i am using the my scan folder and you need to enter the target machine's ip 192.168.7.1.1 this is the target machine i'm going to scan now click save to continue now click save to continue now the scan is saved now to begin the scanning just tick the now just tick the scan now click more and select the launch to start the scanning process now click launch and again select the launch now you can see the scan is launched successfully and it is performing the scan now now select the scan and now we can see the vulnerabilities in the host machine till now we can see that are uh, eight vulnerabilities just you can select the vulnerability and you can see the information of the vulnerability and you can fix the vulnerability by reading this description and you can see the solution that is available for the vulnerability for using the settings you can click this settings and yes you can see the overview of the nessus scanner and uh, select the accounts and you can see the admin account that is the administrator and if you want to add new users you can click the add new user and communication if you are using any proxy server you can set the proxy server here and in advanced you have the advanced settings in this video we saw how to install the nessus vulnerability scanner in ubuntu 16.04 thank you for watching